This segment is sponsored by iCairo Clinics. He comes to us every month and talks about ways we can ensure that we make all of our dreams about what our later in life period is going to be like. But we don't listen very well. Michael Quest has now written the book on what chiropractic care can do to help you make all those dreams come true. And he joins us now to talk about it. Congrats, you're published. Yes, thank you. Show me your book. So here it is. No rocking chairs, how to be physically mobile and active now and in retirement. And this was born, we were just talking, this was born uh, from you hearing people always express what they hope their retirement years will be like, and then not doing the things they need to do to avoid a retirement sitting in a rocking chair somewhere. Yeah, it's really, it's really kind of sad. You know, some of my friends who are financial planners, they would uh, tell me how they, you know, successfully brought people to retirement with all the money they needed. Um, but when they start the interview with a financial planner, it's often like, tell, tell me what you want to do. You know, when you retire, tell us, it's always about what you want to do. Like the doing is like the key in retirement, right? No one says sit around in a in a hospital bed for 20 years or a nursing home or a rocking chair. Nobody says that. It's stuff they want to do. And their frustration from the financial planners that I had talked to um, was these people, we get them there financially, but they don't have the physical abilities to do any of their list. Yeah, so, play with the grandkids, go golfing, you know, do fun things on the weekend, whatever. Well, they don't even care about weekends anymore, do they? they right. <laughs> every day's a weekend if you are able to enjoy it. Yeah. So, I mean, we start, you know, I've been seeing this in the office already where we would have people come in who were wrecks when they were older and not from stuff that started a few days ago. This is stuff that had been developing with them for decades that they didn't really know what to do and they didn't, or they didn't think it was a big deal or they didn't understand. Um, and it's really kind of common sense. You know, if you take a person who has any kind of physical immobility and we measure all of that stuff and you watch them and every time something tightens up we're on it and then we're teaching them what to do and we're showing them and we're measuring everything and you do that until they're 80 you know that person's going to have better mobility than that same person who just does nothing or they say they're going to go to the gym or maybe they'll stretch here and there or they'll just take pills when something bothers them and then they do that till they're 80 I mean, you look at it, it's pretty obvious who's going to be more mobile when they're old. So people just need to know that there's things they can do, which is really a lot of the testing that we do is measuring that so that we know what to do, not only in the office, but what to tell a patient, what they should be watching, what they should be doing if they want to have mobility, less arthritis, better function, which really gives you the better quality of life. And so does the book kind of lay that out for people? Yeah, exactly. You know, it lays it out, helps you set some goals, gets you thinking about things you didn't think about, you know, for example, like what's one of the things you want to be able to do when you're older? How about tie your shoes? Like, mm -hmm. that's kind of a big deal. You know, and you talk to older people who've lost some basic inabilities, and they are very frustrated. They're full of remorse that they didn't take care of themselves. It's just trying to get people to be thinking about that, investing in their health. Because really, when you're, I have a little saying, when your function improves, you never lose. Mm. And I never have old people come in and go, you know, I should have never taken such good care of myself when I was young. That <laughs> was such a ripoff, right? <laughs> like, come on, nobody says that, right? They all are full of remorse. They didn't do more. Yeah. And so it's just getting the younger people to like have that realization that that's what's happening. Otherwise, they just go down the same path and it's just a big repeat. Real quick, Dr. Quast, where do we get your book? Uh, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, just go on there and search it and you'll find it. It'll pop up. You can get it on Kindle, Nook, or you can get a hard copy. Awesome. All right. Congratulations. Thank you.